know after several failed stalks throughout our first day of hunting, we ate a late lunch and finally deciphered our failures. We noticed that each time we spooked the animals, they either ran to or came back to one certain area, the corner of the pines, spruce swamp, and open fields. It was obviously their comfort zone and core area, so we decided to try and sneak in and set up on them. Of course, we met them halfway. Shannon did make his way to a fallen pine tree. Now from the camera's angle, it looks like Shannon should have a clear shot. But if you look carefully, you will see that it is a full pine tree that was taken down in a massive snowstorm earlier in the year. Shannon actually has a very small window to see through, much less to shoot through. Shannon wired up with a wireless mic, and I don't know if you can hear it, but his heart is beating like a drum. Now these animals were coming in quickly, but they locked up just as quick on that corner when the wind picked up and they knew something wasn't quite right. Right now they're at about 30 yards from Shannon and they have three choices. A. To continue down that road that they're on and pass by in front of Shannon at about 10 yards. B. To turn around and leave the entire area. Or C. Turn towards myself and the camera and pass by Shannon at about 20 yards. We're hoping for C because if they walk down that road, they'll go single file with that white ram that Shannon is hoping for at the end of the line. By the time he would have a shot, the rest of the herd would be right in front of him, and I guarantee he'd be busted. I'm just gonna wait him out here. I know. Just let him. Don't move. The only one that cares is the big woolly one. Well, you know all those options I listed before? It looks like something may actually go our way. It appears that the wind is helping us on this hunt, and the herd of rams is making their way to the east. But for those of you sitting at home, that's towards the camera. And if you weren't paying attention before, that's the way we wanted them to go. My heart is pounding. Three more feet. Down, right there, down. Whew. All right, here we are, Renegade Ranch. This 
this is the first day we hunted. We came out this morning, um, and this big guy eluded me twice. Um, I finally got on him, a uh, 20-yard shot, hit him right in the front shoulder. He fell over right here, expired pretty quickly, and it's cool. First time I ever shot one of these, first time I ever seen one of these. Um, usually it's just uh, white-tailed deer, but... That's what you get when you come to Renegade Ranch. You got an option of shooting a lot of different stuff, and boy, I can't even tell you how excited I am. This is awesome.